What are the common duties of a beginner chef? Today we talk about it, coming right up. Hey, what's cooking guys? Marcel here from Slamming It Out. Thank you for watching this video. I'm a professional chef and author and this channel is for all who want to become a professional chef and want to make career abroad. And if you are new here and you want to see more content like this, then please consider to subscribe to my channel. Okay, what are the common duties of a beginner chef? So, so this video will be the first part of a series. I will cover more on this topic in my other videos. In this video, I'm going to share a story how I started as a chef when I was a beginner, when I started off as an apprentice in the kitchen, what uh, were my common duties. And some of you might be surprised to hear what I have to say. So watch this video carefully. If you are interested to become a chef, if you're thinking of applying in a restaurant or a hotel and you seriously to consider to make career in the kitchen. When I was 16 years old in 1993, so you can do the math and you can figure out how old I am today, when I joined a five-star city hotel in Berlin with I think four to five hundred rooms, um, I joined a big kitchen. Yeah. This kitchen was huge. We had a big preparation kitchen in the basement with a hot kitchen and a cold kitchen and a lot of walk and chillers and walk and deep freezer. So um, during my first year of my apprenticeship, I mostly spent time peeling onions, peeling carrots, doing all this kind of so-called stupid stuff in the beginning. And at the end of the day, I had to clean the walk and chiller. Me and my buddies, my colleagues, we had to clean walk and chillers. That was basically uh, during our first year, you see a very basic work. Uh, some people might even think it's a stupid work. Yeah, it is a stupid work somehow, but this is also what you need to know. You need to know how to peel an onion. You need to know how to peel a carrot, right? And you need to know what to do with these um, leftover peelings, right? Because in the, in the professional kitchen, you don't throw that stuff away. Like in mommy's household kitchen, no. You uh, keep and collect it and you prepare other items, uh, for example, stocks with it, you know, but this is a, a different topic. I will not cover this today. And of course, you will be bullied around that what happened to me, not because I'm so stupid, you know, but, uh, you know, this is what some chefs like to do. They like to bully young apprentices and trainees around just for the sake of bullying them around. So to summarize, during my first year of apprenticeship, I did a lot of stupid things and stupid work and I was bullied around. But to, but to get serious again, of course, I learned a bunch of stuff. You know? So during the second year of my apprenticeship, I was transferred to the first floor. There was our uh, fine dining restaurant called the Orangerie. During this time, I mostly worked on the entremetier section. The entremetier section is uh, responsible, or it was in our restaurant, um, the section where we had to prepare the fish and the potatoes and the vegetables, all these kind of things. No meat, that was the saucier section. And I remember working there every evening doing again kind of uh, stupid work because I was not allowed to really cook on the stove. I rather had to wash the pans and the pots for the uh, other chefs who were actually cooking the station. So uh, when I came in the after when I came in in the afternoon, I had to do a lot of uh, mise en place preparation work to do cutting vegetables and all these kind of things, you know. And um, but no cooking. You know, I was hungry for cooking, but there was no cooking for me. There was a lot of washing, a lot of pot washing, actually. But then finally, in my third year, I was allowed to cook uh, a section by myself. All uh, trainees, I remember, we were on the third year of our apprenticeship. We were then slowly uh, brought up uh, to uh, cook the section by ourselves. Um, I was put on the saucier section. The saucier section is the station responsible for the preparation of the meat, the stocks and sauce. And I had a great fun. I really had great fun working that station because the first time in my career, 
In my uh, small cooking career, I was uh, running the, the show alone. I was in charge of the section also because I think we had a lack of manpower at the time. So I was in charge uh, on this in the section, the social section. It was a lot of fun and also I felt a tremendous sense of pride because um, my sous chef, my boss, he trusted me. He put me into this position. I was running the show. I was cooking the, the steaks. You know, I was cooking them to medium, medium rare and all that kind of stuff, what professional chefs are doing. So that was a tremendous boost for me. And I learned a lot, you know, that was very, very helpful. So that was basically in a very rough sequence, my three years in a professional kitchen as an apprentice. Yeah, the first year you do the basic work and a lot of cleaning. The second year I did a lot of preparation work and also a lot of cleaning. And then finally in the third year, I was running my own show on my own station, but still I had to do my own cleaning. And just a little story here on the side, uh, 25 years ago, yes, uh, there were stewards working in the hotel kitchen, in the restaurant kitchen, also in our hotel, but they were only responsible for washing pots and pans and uh, cleaning of walk-in chillers and the cleaning of deep in freezers and all this kind of stuff we had to do, we trainees had to do the job, you know? That's different today. I know it uh, from my own uh, business because I'm a chef today. I'm an executive chef and uh, we have a stewarding team and they do everything. If I ask them to do, uh, do this to that, of course they do it because it's their job. But I remember uh, way back then, like uh, 25 years ago, uh, the trainees had to do the dirty work, you know? So be prepared if the chef, your boss is asking you to clean this and clean that, clean the walk-in chiller. And a walk-in chiller can be very big, I can tell you. On small restaurants, you have, you have most likely no walk-in chillers. You have a lot of reach-in chillers. And that's also a lot of fun cleaning them, believe me. <laughs> uh, but if you work, if it happens that you work in a large hotel operation, oh man, these uh, walk-in chillers can be, can be huge, you know, it's a lot of work to do and um, uh, and you are very lucky to even clean deep freezers, congratulations. But you know, at the end of the day, it is, it is good for you that you learn, that you see that because you will understand kitchen operation, how it works and how important it is also to maintain all these things. And this is basically what I what I also learned, you know, because, you know, when I was 16 years old and I started my first day and I thought, and I came home, my mom asked me, so what did you do? How was it? I said, yeah, I was cleaning. And the next day, the same question, I was cleaning again. And so I was, like, I was thinking like, am I really in the right job? But now in hindsight, of course, I can say I learned a lot and that belongs to the job, you know? So guys, are you still interested to become a chef? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to read all your messages and also answer them. And of course, as usually, if you have more questions, if you need more answers, if you are really serious about becoming a chef, then I have something very beautiful for you here. This is my book, which I have written. It's a real book. It's not a fake. Uh, some of you which have already watched my other videos know that I always at the end of the video, of course, promote my book. But here it is. I ordered a few copies from Amazon. This is how it looks. A beautiful book. Uh, this is my story also with uh, some pictures inside. And it's not only my story. There's a lot of um, useful material inside this book. A lot of tools, tick, tricks and uh, other things inside this book, which as my book states, TV chefs never ever tell you, but you can find all this in my book. The book is uh, not expensive. It's a very reasonable price. Go check it out on Amazon and Kindle and uh, purchase it if you are interested to know how to become a successful chef. All right, guys, this is Marcel from Slamming It Out. I'm signing off for today. Hope you like this video. If yes, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. I don't really care. I just need your thumbs and then I want to wish you a great week ahead as usual. And don't forget guys, always keep slamming it out. Bye bye.